Hello students welcome to the class so we were discussing about electron displacements in organic compounds in the last video we discussed about inductive effect and its applications in this video we are going to discuss about electromeric effect and its applications so what is electromeric effect the complete shifting of pi electron pair of a multiple bond to one of the bonded atoms in presence of attacking reagent is called electromeric effect so here carbonyl group example is shown c double bond o so among that one is sigma bond another one is pi bond so in presence of attacking reagent these pi electron pairs so pi bonded electron pairs are shifted to one of the atom so usually in the carbonyl group the electrons are shifted to more electronegative atom that is to oxygen so it gets a negative charge carbon acquires positive charge so here the carbonyl group whereas initially it is non polar in presence of attacking reagent it becomes polar form same as in alkenes both are carbon and carbon between them a double bond is present so among that again the pi bond electrons are shifted to one of the carbon in presence of attacking reagent so one carbon acquires a positive charge another carbon acquires negative charge here complete transfer of electrons takes place so the complete charge is formed whereas in inductive effect just shifting of pair of electrons towards one of the atom so that partial charges are created whereas in electromeric effect complete charges are created so non polar covalent bond becomes polar so electromeric effect is it is a temporary effect takes place only in presence of attacking reagent remember in the inductive effect no attacking reagent is required but in electromeric effect it it takes place only in presence of attacking reagent occurs in compounds having multiple bonds so there may be double bond or triple bond between the atoms so in such compounds electromeric effect will be seen because here shifting of a pi electrons takes place the displaced electrons leave their orbitals and take a new position so that here complete charges are created thus complete transfer of electron takes place and charges are created there are two types of electromeric effect one is positive electromeric effect and that is uh, represented as a plus e effect another one is negative electromeric effect another that is minus e effect positive electromeric effect in this effect the pi electrons of the multiple bond are transferred to that atom to which reagent gets attached so example is shown here the electrophile h plus is going to attack which carbon this carbon so towards that towards the same carbon the pi electrons are shifted so that this carbon becomes negative to that h plus will attack so ch bond is formed whereas the another carbon loses electron gets a positive charge so this is called positive electromeric effect the pi electrons of multiple bond are transferred to the atom to which reagent get attached so if uh, attacking reagent is an electrophile then positive inductive effect is uh, sorry positive electromeric effect is observed another one is negative electromeric effect in this effect pi electrons of multiple bond are transferred away from the atom to which region get attached hmm? they are transferred away from the atom to which the reagent gets attached 
or in other another form we can say if the attacking reagent is a nucleophile then negative inductive effect is observed so this nucleophile suppose it attacks this carbon the pi electrons are shifted to another carbon so it acquires a negative charge this carbon acquires a positive charge so that nucleophile get attached to this carbon these are positive inductive effect and negative inductive effect the effect of pi electrons of multiple bond are transferred to that atom to which reagent get attached in the negative inductive effect the pi electrons of multiple bond are transferred away from the atom to which reagent gets attached hmm? applications of electromeric effect electromeric effect plays an important role in writing mechanism of electrophile and nucleophile addition reactions okay electrophilic addition and nucleophilic addition reactions so that reactions may be expressed as plus electromeric effect and negative effect electromeric effect see for example in electrophilic addition reactions how to write the mechanism of electrophilic addition reactions so it exerts here positive inductive uh, sorry positive electromeric effect so among this carbon carbon double bond both the uh, atoms are same of same electronegativity but in presence of attacking reagent this will attacks to the carbon so that the electron density on this carbon should be more then only this c and electrophile new bond will be formed so that the electrons are transferred to the carbon so that c e new bond is formed and this carbon acquires a positive charge the electrons are shifted to this carbon so that carbon becomes negative to that electrophile will attack another carbon loses electron so it becomes positive so if electrophilic addition reactions are there it follows plus e effect like that nucleophilic addition reactions so in the nucleophile here the nucleophile attacks to this carbon and the electrons are shifting away from that carbon they are shifting away from this carbon so this is an example for minus e effect negative electromeric effect so nucleophilic addition reaction when a nucleophile attacks here so we can write the mechanism that follows negative electromeric effect nucleophile attacks the carbon so that pi electron pairs are shifted to next carbon so that this carbon loses electron so nucleophile attacks to that new carbon nucleophile bond is formed this carbon acquires a negative charge so that to next electrophile attacks and it gives the substituted product or addition product same as the electrophilic substitution reactions in the aromatic compounds so let us see suppose the electrophile going to attack in the benzene so all the six bonds are same in the benzene so when the electrophile attacks this carbon the pi electron is shifted towards that carbon so that one carbon acquires negative charge another one acquires positive charge so the electrophile goes to the carbon which having negative charge and other carbon acquires positive charge so here plus induct uh, electromeric effect is seen so in the new uh, electrophilic substitution reactions of aromatic compounds or the aromatic nucleus positive electromeric effect is observed what are the difference between inductive effect and electromeric effect 
so we already studied what is inductive effect what are its applications hmm? and now see the uh, study the difference between inductive effect and electromagnetic effect so we know that inductive effect involves permanent displays of an electron pair of a molecule but electromagnetic effect involves temporary displacement of pair of pi electrons so only in presence of attacking reagent there is a shifting of electrons takes place in the multiple bonds that is in electromagnetic effect but when the attacking reagent is removed the effect is also reversed but in the inductive effect that is depends upon the difference in the electronegativities of the atoms which are involved in that bond so therefore it is permanent effect presence of attacking reagent is not essential in inductive effect but presence of an attacking reagent is essential in electromagnetic effect so only in presence of attacking reagent this effect is observed inductive effect there presence of a multiple bond is not essential but polarity of a bond is essential that is there should be difference in the electronegativities of the atoms involved in that bond but in the electromagnetic effect multiple bond is essential because here the shifting of pi electrons takes place therefore multiple bond is essential the displaced electron pair does not leave its molecular orbital there is only distortion in shape of the molecular orbital that is in the inductive effect but in electromagnetic effect the electron pair which gets transferred completely leaves its molecular orbital and takes up a new position in inductive effect there is a partial charge separation but in electromagnetic effect complete charge separation takes place due to the partial charge separation there is no ions are formed in inductive effect only a slight positive and negative charge is observed but in electromagnetic effect complete ch charge separation takes place therefore ions are formed one is positive another one is negative so these are the major differences between inductive effect and electromagnetic effect so in the next video we can study about resonance effect or mesomeric effect okay thank you